Hi everyone. Today we will be talking about the problem, the birthday paradox, in our probabilistic analysis series. All the terms and expressions used in probabilistic analysis I have previously explained in the previous videos of the hiring challenge. So we will just move into this and do its analysis. So what is the birthday paradox? It is that how many people must be there in a room to have same birthday ok there is a room and we will go on putting people inside it so that two of them will have a same birthday what is the paradox in this paradox is that you may think how many people but it is actually very less you may think that the possibility will only come when there will be 365 people as there are 365 days but you will see that it is actually really less people require for this task so let's start it say we assume there are uh, n days in a year n being equal to 365 we will assume that all years have 365 days so and the we will be there will be one two three k people in the room so let b of i be the birthday of the ith person So it will lie between B of I to N. Okay. So assuming that the birthdays, assuming birthdays being uniformly distributed so being N days, so the probability of B of I falling on some day R will be 1 by N for I equal to 1 to K and R equal to 1 to N ok but days are uniformly distributed over the year so the random selection random selection of birthdays are independent so the probability that some person ith ith birthday and jth birthday will fall on day say R is probability of B I equal to R and B J equal to R is equal to probability of B of I equal to R multiplied with B of J equal to R and as if this was 1 by n so it will be 1 by n square that is 1 by n into 1 by n this is probability for some day r but as there are n days in a year so the probability that both will fall fall on same day will be probability of bi equal to bj 
equal to the summation over the year we will be summing this probability over n days that is 365 over the year so r equal to 1 to n probability of b i equal to r and b j equal to r so it will be sigma of r equal to 1 to n 1 by n square it will be 1 by n square plus 1 by n square so on 1 by n so as the probability of a as the birthdays were uniformly distributed the probability was 1 by n and the probability that the both will fall on the same day is also 1 by n same as the birthdays okay now we will analyze it using the indicator variable more expressions okay for pair i j of the k people in a room let x of i j be the indicator variable or we can say indicator random variable same thing okay for i j n okay j will be greater than i so x of i j will be having values of 1 and 0 if i and j have same birthday birthday and 0 otherwise so expectancy of x of i j is equal to probability that person i and j same birthday which is as we have found out 1 by n so for the total let's say x be the random variable that counts number of pairs okay so x will be sigma of i equal to 1 to k okay i i, I did a mistake before yeah this this should be i j not n k as there are k people in a room okay so sigma i equal to 1 to k and j equal to i plus 1 to k and what we are summing is the x i j so taking expectations on both sides E of x equal to E of sigma. Okay, this is the expression. Sigma I equal to 1 to k, sigma j equal to i plus 1 to k, x of i j. Now applying the linearity. which will be k into k minus 1 by 2n as well this will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 as you will do 1 by n 
so this is the expression we got and so as you can see if you what if this numerator is greater than equal to 1 that is k k minus 1 is greater than equal to 1 greater than yeah no this whole expression to make it greater than equal to 1 this should be greater than 2n so if you solve this you will get something like root 2n plus 1 and if you so for n having 365 as we assumed all years have 365 days the value of value of k will be hmm, what was that? 28 so k into k minus 1 by 2n is equal to 28 into 27 using k and n and 2 into 365 equals to 1.035 approx so as you can see with just 28 people there will be a possibility that the two people that two persons will have the same birthday as you can see it is very very less as we would have assumed generally so that's all in this video in the next one we will be seeing the problem of balls and beans okay thanks for watching see you next time